I wanna visit all the places nobody goes. I wanna teach all the things that nobody knows. I wanna grow wings, leave the coop, learn to fly. Bungee jump from the tallest building in Dubai. I wanna fly around town in my UFO. I wanna eat real food, not the GMOs. I wanna make moves, call the shots like the boss. I wanna love like I never lost. Welcome back to Desert with Days. And I am here with a talented, lovely Celine Durney. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here today. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Celine, I know you come from a performing family, mm -hmm. being a singer and a performer. When did you first realize that you had a voice you wanted to share with the world? Um, you know, there wasn't really a day I discovered, oh, I have this amazing voice. I just always loved to sing, and I sung pretty much anywhere and everywhere I went. And my family got kind of used to that. And, um, but I have always found an immense joy in performing, just being on a stage and sharing something that I really, really love and am passionate yeah. about with an audience. And so that's always been something very comfortable for me to get to share that. So there's never been necessarily one particular moment where I thought I want to be a performer. Because you always did it. I've just, I, yeah, I just did it. Well, that's something that God blessed you with, that beautiful voice of yours. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you have four sisters. I do. So did any of them sing as well? You know, they all enjoy music to some degree. Some of them listen to it more than they do actually performing it. I do have one sister who, um, she, she loves singing she has a beautiful voice but she's not at the same comfort level as I am oh. being on a stage so she sings more so for close family members and whatnot but I've done a couple of projects with her where I've sung and I've featured her okay. with harmony you so it's gonna be like the Braxton sisters a little bit <laughs> I wish that would be super fun yes yes you're so pretty thank you <laughs> I remember some years ago, I took some voice lessons. You did? Yes. Because I thought I wanted to sing. I sing well in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The best acoustics. And one of the songs that my coach had me singing was a song by um, Sarah Bareilles. Really? The one about Vegas. Oh. The one about I can't Vegas. Remember. It's about Vegas. I can't okay. think of the name. That's such a beautiful... The song is beautiful, but I love her voice. Oh, it's yes. so different. It's amazing that you brought that up because she is one of my biggest musical inspirations. Really? Oh, yeah. In fact, one of the groups that I am lucky to be a part of, we were named after, we drew inspiration from one of her songs. She has a lyric in one of her songs, and that's kind of where we got the name for our group. It's oh, from a Sarah Bareilles really? song. So she's a huge, huge influence of mine. I'm going to have to get you the name of that song. It's something about Vegas. Okay. Um. But that is such a lovely, because she just goes to so many different, her sound is just so different throughout the whole song. Yeah, and she's an amazing storyteller. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about musicians out there are ones that tell stories yes. through their music so naturally. Yeah. And she's she's one of them. And, and that's what we do in the industry as, as actors, as filmmakers, as musicians, artists, whether it's painting or designing, we're telling a story. Yes. It's not just, hey, I'm going to make this today. It's about something that you've usually experienced, something in your yes. life, or something you witness. It's a, it's a story. It's a story, and that's, and that's what makes us human. And I think that's what connects us on so many levels, is being able to tell those stories through so many mediums, like you mentioned, through art and theater and music yeah. and design. And there's just so many amazing avenues where those stories can be told. Other than music, um, other than singing, and you play the guitar, mm -hmm. or do you play any other instruments? I do. And I, um, I'm i honestly self-taught on a lot of instruments. Really? They were just kind of, I wanted to, I mean, like I mentioned before, I love singing, but I eventually got to the point where I didn't want to sing to a karaoke track. I wanted right. to accompany myself. So I picked up the guitar and learned how to make chords with my hands on yeah. the guitar, on the ukulele, on the piano. Um, and then I like to kind of dabble in other random percussion instruments. Like I actually learned how to play tambourine, which was really fun. So I've been oh. able to do that in like a gospel choir setting oh, okay. or different, any times that that's been needed. That's amazing because, you know, you hear 
people that are taking courses and taking classes, they go, oh, that's so hard. Oh, yeah. But then you hear a person say, I'm self-taught. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? That is ex- that is definitely from someone, okay? You're mm-hmm. self-taught. Yeah. Okay, but we can go to a course. You could try and teach me. And I'm like, oh, that's just so hard. Yeah. I can't do that, Celine. <laughs> I think I was definitely driven by the, like a self-motivation of just, I want to learn how to do this. And I, I had the motivation to learn how to do it. And, you know, in the beginning, it was not easy, but I was committed enough of like, I, this is what I wanted to do. And so I'm going to follow through. That's what it's about being committed and following through on it. Consistency. Yeah. Your father is also a talented comedian. What's the experience like for you to perform with your father? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I have a sister who does sing but she's not as comfortable about being on a stage and so sometimes if I ever tried to drag her along for a performance she says no I'm oh. I'm not interested whereas my dad you know I think I kind of get that from him oh. of being comfortable on a stage yeah or just in front of an audience or a uh-huh. crowd mm-hmm. and so being able to perform with him feels natural for me feels natural for him and so to share that that's the bond that you guys yeah, have together yeah yeah that's good. So when you're not performing and singing, what do you do? Um, I Well, I teach full-time. Uh, I'm a choir teacher. That's oh. what my degree is in, is oh, okay. choral education. Okay. So when I'm not singing or You're still working your craft. I am. Right. So honestly, I'm very blessed to still have music as a job, as some, yes. as a, you know, main part of my job. Um, and it's cool because I get to share those experiences with my students. I love that. So... That's I love that. and, and you know what I also think, you know, your sister may not be comfortable now, but she's watching you. Is she younger? <laughs> she's older, actually. She's older, she's but she older, still yeah. may be watching. And one day she will, she may build up that confidence to do it. I hope so. Well, and she has, she has um, six kids and her oldest daughter is actually a really like, so she's so enthusiastic and also passionate about singing oh so there's a fun video where she and I actually did a little like one of the songs that she showed me uh, like that she learned in elementary school so So it may touch one of your nieces yeah oh yeah or niece or nephew yeah you never know where it's going to yeah that's going to happen and that's my favorite part about having that musical aspect in my family is doing it with my nieces and nephews like that that musical legacy yeah. still kind of lives on. So yeah. that's super fun. So Celine, you also brought some media for us today to take a look at, right? I did, a couple of pictures. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have. Ah, that was from my senior year of college. So that was 2017. I had actually arranged a song for one of the vocal jazz groups that they were singing at Northern Arizona University. And Little did I know that they actually wanted me to solo on it. Oh. So that was kind of fun to have the background choir singing a song that I had, I and hadn't you written. You were a it. senior in high school. I was a senior in college. Oh, I was say yeah, a senior in college. You look like a professional. Thank here. you. That's one of my favorite outfits to wear when I'm performing. Actually, it's a big, big, long, tight black jumpsuit, and it's yeah, it's nice. I can move around in it. Yeah, really nicely. <laughs> This is the group I was telling you about that was okay. named after a red, uh, Sarah Bareilles lyric. So oh. this group is called Red Letter Days. And uh, we started out as a trio. There's now four of us. Oh, okay. But we have um, a, a big following on TikTok, almost about 200,000 followers. Wow. So that's really fun. And this was um, from a photo shoot that we did for our recently um, made album. And I love the desert scene in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then this is my other a cappella group that I sing in. I've been with them for about five years. A lot of these singers I met in college. Um, and this group is called Side Notes. A lot of us are either music educators mm-hmm. or work at, like one of them works at a STEM camp. One of them works for Amazon. Um, and so we all have our kind of full ta- daytime jobs. Right. But then we come together to make music. So it's on the side, hence Side Note. So, yeah, that was a fun, that was a wedding gig that we oh, did, actually. Okay. How many is this? There are seven of us. There oh, was okay. eight, but now there's seven of us. But you know what? That's one thing. Even though you are a performer mm-hmm. and you have your job that you work, you still have to work your craft. 
Yes, and, and that's a great method of working your craft. Oh, it's an so, amazing outlet. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure it is because it's not like you're working; you're there doing what you love to do. I yeah, I feel like I don't have to, like you know, a lot of people say when you go into your job, you don't if you love it, you don't feel like you're working, and that's, that's exactly true. how I feel with everything that I get to do, and I'm very very blessed to get to do those things. That's awesome, and and it is a blessing of to be able to have a voice like that. Is a bless. I feel that is is just just didn't fall on you. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell us about one of your most memorable performances. One of my most memorable performances. I have two. One is um, with um, the group side note, the seven of us. Mm -hmm. We were performing as a guest artist for this acapella competition. In fact, it's the same one that they have in the. Pitch Perfect movies, the ICCA. That's a real oh. competition. Oh, okay. And so our group, they had asked us to come and perform as the entertainment while judges were deliberating. Mm. And the last song that we sang was Green Light by Lord. And um, they had the other acapella singers that competed come on out to the stage and they were singing along with us. And then some people in the audience were singing along with us. And so the energy just in that room that night was very, very palpable. Oh, wow. And I just, I just felt like my whole soul was on fire. It was just an amazing feeling to have as a performer. Yeah. And my second one is um, with my dad, who I know was on the show earlier. Yes. We did a performance with the Salvation Army here in Phoenix a couple uh -huh. years ago. And he did a comedy set. And then I came on and sang a couple songs. But the audience that night, it was super cool because it was the people that come to the Salvation yeah. Army uh -huh. for lots of different things yes. and so that audience was very and that is genuine. such a great feeling oh yeah yeah it was that was kind of the you know there's some people that I think perform to entertain mm -hmm. but that was the type of performance that for me it was I'm performing to just genuinely share my love and my passion for music and they're genuine and they are accepting it yeah and to feel their soul that, because that's what yes. music does it's yeah like soul so where can our audience find you so I am on Instagram. If you look up uh, Celine Mure, which is my middle name, D C E L I N E M I R E I L L E D. Or if it's easier on TikTok, that's also another place where people can find me. Okay. And that one is just S E E dot E M dot D E E. It's my initials spelled out phonetically. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on Desert Wood Days. And that was Celine Durney. And we will catch you next time.